The new simple map mode is a very useful feature for all those projects where we need only a flat map and I'll show you how this works. When we create a new project, then Vasco da Gama takes us directly to the project settings window and here now we can choose between the advanced map mode this is the normal mode that we know from former versions of Vasco da Gama and the new simple map mode. I will select it here right now. All the other preferences I leave as they are and I accept with OK. And now Vasco da Gama takes me directly to the map selection and here I can select an existing map or import a new map. I will import a new map and I have prepared in Vasco Street Maps a map of the city of Munich in Germany and this one I would like to import. Now I'm presented with the path and the file names and the cache directories and the most important data we find here in the third entry the map name for the selection list. Every map that we import in the simple map mode is not available in the advanced map mode and vice versa. This is because in the simple map mode we don't work with any coordinate system so Vasco da Gama keeps those maps apart one for the simple map mode and the other for the advanced map mode. That means we can import the same map in both modes but both modes share the same selection list and for this reason I change the name here to Munich and I will add 2D so that the name is different if I later uh, like to import the same map in the advanced map mode. So I select OK. Now Vasco da Gama creates the map. We will jump directly to the end of the import process after the import the new imported map is directly selected and here we can choose the background color. You will see it in the next step. I click OK and now the view changes and we see our freshly imported map and when I zoom out then we can see that now we don't have our planet as usual our world now is rectangular and therefore because our world ends here we need a background color for those moments when the border comes in the view of the camera. And now we have this fantastic street view of the city of Munich and these maps from Vasco Street Maps are perfect for those projects where you would like to show your clients where your business is located or if you are the organizer of a sports event you could show the running course of the city street running event next month. There are many projects where this simple map mode is the perfect tool. And now since we have here this street view we can easily create a route here. For example we can zoom in a little bit more and then create a starting point, drag it over here and now switch on the setting of endpoints and now we can very easily draw here a route along those streets. This is pretty straightforward and when we now switch to the camera section waiting for the preview images and then switch from the automatic camera mode to the new simple camera mode then we can zoom in a little bit more and now save the new zoom settings waiting again for the preview images to be calculated and now we can 
move through our animation and see how our route is drawn on the street map which is very nice and now we can go to the preview window play back our animation and you can see how easy it is to create wonderful animations with only a few mouse clicks in this fantastic simple map mode. If you have one of the object packages installed in your system then you can place even 3D buildings on the street maps. This works for individual buildings but you can't use the GPS coordinates that comes with the individual objects because we don't have a coordinate system available in this simple map mode. So you have to place the objects manually and therefore it isn't possible to import a whole city because this function depends on a coordinate system which we don't have in this mode. And now I'm sure you are asking yourself why do I choose a two-dimensional map and then decide to place three-dimensional objects on it. Well, this makes sense until a certain point because Vasco da Gama allows us to tilt our view on the map. I will press the right mouse button and then move the mouse a little bit up and now you can see that Vasco da Gama tilts the view and so we can introduce a slight pseudo 3D effect but this makes only sense until certain point because this looks very funny very interesting but the fun stops at that moment when the border of our map comes into the camera view and we will see the black background color just as here above but as long as the border of your map doesn't come in the camera view you can use this pseudo 3D effect and therefore it makes sense to place some of the buildings but remember you have to place them manually so this could be much work. So if you really need to place many objects then it could be wiser to choose the advanced map mode. So as a resum this new simple map mode is a fantastic tool for all those projects where we need to create a simple animation with very few clicks and you have seen that it is indeed very easy to create professional looking animations with very little effort.